thermal imaging of geohazards is not something that's new. What, what is a little bit new about what we're doing is thermal videography. We should be able to see rock falls um, at day and at night. Hi there, my name is Chad Williams and I'm the Assistant Director of the Geotechnical Center of Excellence at the University of Arizona. Uh, my name is Edward Wellman, I'm a geological engineer. Today we're running a rockfall test with the uh, Thermal Imaging System for Rockfall Detection. Uh, it's a system that we have four cameras on board, uh, three of the cameras we're testing today and we're going to roll rocks down a 900 foot high slope and we're going to observe what we see from the thermal cameras and if we're able to detect the rock falls and what they look like on thermal imaging. This project is important for the safety of miners. Uh, the, one of the top five risk miners uh, yeah, face um, in their work environment is the risk of rock fall and identifying other hazards. And so if we're able to use these cameras to one, observe and detect rock fall, that may give us the potential to early alert. There are few tools actually that track fast moving objects. So we have a lot of tools like the one that's um, behind me just around the corner, um, a ground-based synthetic aperture radar or ground-based real aperture radar that are really good at tracking um, slow displacements. However, when you have rock falls and fast displacements, um, you have what's called phase ambiguities, and those radars aren't designed to track, track that kind of movement. Uh, but thermal cameras uh, can see uh, quite a far distance, and they have some advantages to those other technologies. One of those advantages is that as a rock rolls down a slope and disturbs that surface, the, new, the newly exposed surface is now a different temperature than what it was before. Um, and so what we can see and what we um, hopefully saw in our tests that we ran today is that as rocks roll down slopes, we can see the trails and the paths of the rock falls and be able to detect and track those hazards. We're really trying to figure out what types of thermal cameras are best to identify, track, and detect rock falls. So we have a scientific grade camera. It's an A400 uh, FLIR camera. This is a FLIR 632, a wide angle view. Um, high resolution camera. And this is a lower resolution um, axis camera um, that has a fixed focal length. And part of this project is not just trying the best cameras that are available, we're really trying to find the price point um, or the economy um, of where, you know, where we can detect rock falls, but we can also provide um, safety critical tools at a reasonable price. Because if we can find that some of these cameras, which only cost five to seven grand, um, can detect these things, they could become quickly popular in mining. This is solar powered research in mining. So the way we're powering it actually is with six solar panels. We have three on the top and three um, out on the ground behind the trailer. That's providing power um, to around 4,000 pounds of batteries, and it's a 24 volt um, battery system. We're connected through the mine Wi-Fi over a wireless network here locally, but we also have a cellular data collection where we have cell phone reception and can transmit data to the engineers that need to do it. Yeah, so what challenges do we foresee with the technology? Well, we've already found um, so far that uh, these thermal cameras can see dust really well, so in extremely dusty conditions, that could be a challenge. Um, it also could be an advantage for us because most rock falls as they go down slopes and mining generate a lot of dust. So if we can detect dust um, on a slope, that could be an indication of even a smaller rock fall that is happening. This project is gonna test conditions in snow and rain, um, and a lot of those things are yet to be figured out. We're really just getting started.